Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some Major League Baseball action for July the 3rd, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section right here, which has all these wonderful tools to help you make your picks. So we're getting very close to the All-Star break now and the halfway point of the season is really upon us right now. Um, so teams really want to make a, a statement going into the break so they can make a run towards the playoffs in the second half. So let's take a look at some of these games. The first game we want to look at is the Houston Astros and the Texas Rangers. In this AL West clash, you see the Astros come in burning hot, winners of their last two and three out of their last four. And Texas is coming in ice cold down two and four over their last six games. If you look at the over-under, you can see Houston involved in games over the line of four out of their last five. Well, Texas involved in games over the line five out of their last six and five in a row. The score prediction has a high scoring game uh, with Houston winning nine to six, but the confidence in prediction is low yet at only about 37%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, Texas is, uh, they were on the upward trend up until the 29th. Now, there's nothing uh, current as of today, but up uh, as of yesterday, they were at plus 28 and Houston was coming in at plus 17. If you take a look at the head-to-head -head matches between these two teams, they met three times before the season, and Houston and Texas won two out of those three games. The stability factor, how well are they playing according to the favorite underdog status, you can see that Texas is at plus 15, Houston is at plus 11, so both teams have been consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. So in the end, I like Houston to pick up a road win on this one. Um, I think it's going to be high scoring, so let's go with Houston and a game over the line. We got Chicago here in Milwaukee, which we're not going to look at. Uh, Cincinnati and Washington. Next one we want to look at is St. Louis and Miami. Miami comes in burning hot winners of their last five, while the Cardinals are ice cold down, just two and four over their last six. Mike Mikolas is scheduled to pitch for. St. Louis, you see here, he's coming in with a 4-5 and five record and a 4.44 ERA. His away ERA is, is very good, that 3.63, but he has a poor bet at minus $229 on the pitcher profit oscillator. If you take a look at the over-under, the teams have been trending in games on opposite sides of the line. You see Houston, three out of their last, excuse me, Houston, St. Louis, three out of the last four over, while Miami, um, three out of the last four have been under. The score predictor has Miami by a 6-2 score with confidence in prediction of a little bit better than a toss of a coin at 55%. On the power ranks indicator, you can see Miami has been stable over the last few days at plus 27, while St. Louis is on the downward trend. They were at plus 9. Now they're down to plus uh, 4. If you take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup, the teams have not yet met in the regular season this year. Uh, the stability factor. Notice here that Miami is stable at plus 10, but St. Louis is very unstable. And they were relatively stable here at plus 5. We this back on April 3rd. They went on downward trend as far as that goes. So they have not been consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. So in the end here, I like the Marlins at home to continue to play well. But I'm going to make a pass on the over-under bet. Baltimore, New York. The Yankees come in burning hot in this AL East battle, winners of their last two and four out of their last five. They scored 21 runs over the last two games against Oakland, while Baltimore's coming in average down just three and three over their last six, and they are losers of their last two. The score predictor has Baltimore by a five to four margin with about 40% level of confidence. And you can see that as far as over under goes, the teams have been involved in games over the line in seven out of their last 12. On the power ranks indicator, uh, you see Baltimore on a slightly downward trend. They were riding high at plus 29. They're still on the high side here at plus 25. And the Yankees steady over the last couple of days at plus 18. In the head-to-head -head matchup, these teams have already met six times this year, with Baltimore winning two out of three in New York and the Yankees winning two out of three in Baltimore. The stability factor, you see that both teams have been consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status at plus 14 to plus 12. I like the Yankees at home in this one, and I think it's going to be a lower scoring game. So let's go with the Yankees and under the line. The next game we want to look at, let me scroll down through the list. It's a pretty full schedule, not a, a completely full schedule, but pretty many games. 
uh, the Angels and the Padres. Okay, so this is AL West and NL West. You see the Padres come in dead stats, losers of their last five. Well, the Angels are coming in average down. They have lost their last two, and they are 3-3 three and three over their last six. If you look at the um, over-under, you can see the Angels involved in games over the line in their last two, but under in three out of the last five. Well, the Padres over in the last four. So a little bit on uh, opposite sides of the line here. Uh, the score predictor has San Diego in a blowout, 11 to 4. But look at the confidence in prediction at only 26%. So take a look at this as it gets closer to game time to see if that has changed as far as a higher percentage of confidence. If we look at the um, power ranks indicator, you can see the Angels were on an upward trend of 19. Now they have dipped over the last couple of days down to plus 14, while the Padres dropped to from plus 12 on the 24th to plus 4, and now they're back up to plus 6. Take a look at the volatility oscillator. It's a stability factor. Both teams moderately stable. Uh, the Padres a little bit more so, but over the last couple of days, not as much. Actually, about the last week, from 15 down to 10, they have been not been consistent over the last week. In the end, though, I like the Padres to end their skid by going to pass on the over/under bet. And the last game I want to look at is the Padres, or excuse me, the Padres, the Pirates and the Dodgers. The Dodgers hosting the Pirates. You see here that. Dodgers are coming in average up, winners of two out of their last three, while the Pirates here are burning hot and they have won their last three games and are four and two over their last six. If we take a look at the over-under, you can see that the Pirates have been involved in games over the line in their last three and four out of their last six, while the Dodgers have been involved in games over the line in their last two and four out of their last six as well. The score prediction has a Pirates by a 5-4 to four margin, but confidence in prediction, again, is relatively low at only 42%. On the power ranks indicator, you see the up and downward trend for the Dodgers there at plus 19 at the moment. While the Pirates have been on the upswing from plus 2 back um, just not even a week ago, and they've skyrocketed up to plus 13. In the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams, Notice that they met earlier this season three games in Pittsburgh, and Pittsburgh won two out of those three games. The stability factor, notice that both teams have only been moderately stable. Um, right here, the Dodgers were as high as plus eight. They're now at plus six, and the Pirates have never been really that high all season. Plus six was their high, and they are now at plus three. So neither team has been extremely stable. Um, in the end here, I think this is going to be a Dodgers win on, at home, but I'm going to pass on the over-under. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for July the 3rd. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.